Hey y'all, it's uh, Brother Brian here, and uh, this video's been a long time coming. I've been putting it off. It's uncomfortable because, you know, it's it's hard for me to admit. I mean, I, I do admit I have flaws, but it's hard for me to talk solely about them. Because when I talk about them, I talk about them in the context of ministry, or I talk about them in the context of a sermon, or I talk about them in the context of a video, but... I've kind of been feeling the Lord pulling me to call or to, to say this for quite a while now. You know, I need to tell you, I, I'm not perfect. And a lot of people I know hold preachers and ministers up on a pedestal, but that's not where we want to be. We are servants alongside you, just using our gifts in the way God called us to. Not everyone's called into ministry, and, and I wouldn't wish that um, and I mean, we're all called to minister, but not in the sense that I do it as a preacher. And I need to tell you, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect in any way. I'm a sinner. I need prayer. And I need you to hold me accountable. And, and how do you hold a preacher accountable? There is nothing less than the Word of God. Nothing less than the Word of God holds preachers accountable. We have to be held accountable. We need you to, to study your word alongside us. We need you to test us against Scripture, not merely taking us at our word. You see it all the time where preachers fall and fail. You see it all the time where some preachers just go, uh, get so full of themselves. They're about money or they're about popularity or they're about influence or about whatever else they may about be about. But for me, I need to tell you who I was and who I am now are two different people, but the old me is constantly trying to come back. I grew up uh, since I was about four or five years old is when we started coming to church. And I loved Christ from the beginning. But about high school, I gave up church. I gave up church uh, to chase after girls. I was becoming popular. Um, I enjoyed being the smartest kid in the class, or, or thought I was, you know. And I, I, I was a jerk and a skirt chaser. When I got older, I, I was a, a, a partier and, and I lived for drinking and I lived for sex. And I need to admit that to you. And there's scars that I bear from the things that people have done to me and the things I've done to myself. That the old me is constantly in battle with the spiritual me. I'm living out Romans 6 on a sometimes minute by minute basis. And chances are, if, if you don't come to our church here in Murfreesboro, your preacher struggles too. There's things and vices that every single minister has. I don't care how close to God they are. We need your prayer. We need your friendship. And many of us do this alone. Or we feel like we have to. We need your understanding. We need your grace. And we need your accountability. Come and don't don't measure me by me measure me by the word of god and sometimes i'm going to fail you sometimes i'm going to do the wrong things sometimes i'm going to say the wrong things i am human but the jesus that i serve is perfect and so get to know him through his word hold me accountable Hold your preacher or your minister accountable. If you're not a member of our uh, of my church here, you know we have so many. Um, I have so many people who I've, I've uh, connected with over the years. People from every single ministry I've been in and, and friends that I've had. But I need to tell you, I'm not perfect. I struggle. The old me, and me, the new me, the spiritual me, wrestle on a daily basis. I have to give everything and surrender to Christ daily. You know, sometimes I'm on my knees just weeping because I, I don't like who I am. I don't like the thoughts in my head. I don't like the things that go on sometimes. But the God I serve is perfect. And he uses a sinner like me to preach his perfect word. And so I want to ask you again, pray for me. Give me your friendship, but give me accountability too.
Don't hold me up higher than I want to be. Only Christ sits on the throne. If you look at Revelation, around the throne are the 24 elders in their golden crowns and the four living creatures with uh, the, the different crazy heads and the six wings. They're, they're saying, holy, holy, holy is the God Almighty who was and is and is to come. And these 24 elders on their 24 thrones go before God and cast their crowns down. And they bow before him. Pray for my humility. Pray for your preacher's humility. Ask us how we're doing. And don't just merely do it as a passing courtesy. But mean it. Look after us. Hold us accountable. All right, that being said, I just want to say I love you. I'm praying for you. Please pray for me. God bless you.